Hey, welcome to MEI. Come on in, I'll show you around. So this is where all the material comes into the shop. You can see over here, we've got our laser racking system that will automatically feed the laser. It's probably one of the more popular things on the tour is checking out the laser. Hey, there's James Meyer. James Meyer is the VP of operations and he's gonna show you around a little more what we got going on here. Thanks, James. Hey, thanks, Steve. Um, let me start you. After we see, we see the raw materials here, some of that raw material will flow to our laser. Our laser will cut anywhere from 28 gauge material up to half inch thick material. Uh, we will range in the uh, material types. We'll go stainless, we'll go uh, cold rolled, hot rolled, galvanized. Um, after the, the laser cuts this material, material will continue to flow towards the north. Um, and we do dedicate different lines. We have a, an aesthetic line, which is, tends to be your cabs at your entrances. We have a structural line that is your platforms, your slings. Um, and again, the material will continue to flow down uh, towards the north. Um, we do have two brakes, equivalent in tonnage, 275 ton each. And I'm gonna run you through over here to uh, Ryan Fitzloff. He's our uh, production manager. Hey, Ryan. Cool. Um, James hit on our brakes, uh, two 275 ton twin brakes. Um, Product flows from south to north, and we have our lines laid out um, more for like aesthetics. Um, and then our heavy structural stuff that is too large for the powder booth. Um, it makes sense to build on that side and run through our liquid uh, paint system, which we'll see as we move that pump down. Um, you'll notice throughout the shop, we have tablets all over. Um, that's in an effort to run, run our shop paperless. Um, we keep introducing new things to that. So with the tablets, uh, the employees are able to pull drawings. They can redline drawings and even send them back to engineering if there's a question. They can look up open PO's, um, uh, all kinds of things. And we just keep introducing more and more and more. We have a 90,000 square foot facility. There's 43 individuals uh, that work out here. Um, currently, we are only running one shift very flexible. Um, one thing I will hit on is the flexibility of the employees. So we've, with our scheduling and our, our workload, we've been able to invest in flexing uh, a lot of our talents around. So we get a lot of coverage that way. If you notice over here on the east side of the building, the larger, larger weldments, like I said, they will flow through our, our liquid booths. The cutting, sawing, drilling is all done this bay. A lot of our tank production is done over here um, and, and again it all flows north. Um, we'll come over here and show you an example of our pitch and pack, um, the value adds there. Tom Goodall will walk you guys through that. Hey Tom. Here at MEI we take pride in our packaging, uh, always looking to uh, make it uh, easier for the end user, which is our customer. Um, here we have a passenger cab inside the crate. Uh, we uh, enhanced our skids, so we're able to fork from all directions, making it easy for the customer uh, to get it in and out of their shed, or out of their uh, building. Um, here too, we take pride in, the, uh, in how we stack our parts. We wanna make sure that uh, the customer's always happy with the, uh, with the product making sure we don't scratch anything, uh, making sure we wrap it in uh, cardboard and things like that. Um, labeling is a huge, huge thing here at MEI. Uh, we want the customer to know what they're getting. I always want my next guy down the road to uh, know how many skids are in the, in the package, how many skids he's looking for. Um, this one here in particular needs to have an extra skid that uh, back in the warehouse, so now they won't miss that on the truck. This was our large parts. We do move over to our small parts, uh, which Ryan, I believe, touched on in the assembly area. Um, this is the small parts packaging, everything that we do not want to get lost on the truck. Um, each of these come with a list of all the parts that are in that particular box for the, for the mechanics. Um, they can see what we actually ship to them. And we also send a photo. The photo is very uh, important to us here at MEI because uh, if the mechanics call and they ask for something that they can't find, 
we were able to pinpoint it to that folder and say, yes, sir, it's in box number one, two, or three. Um, and then everything is neatly stacked inside the boxes uh, and labeled as well. So let's see, you got a couple entrances packages down here, um, just different styles of, uh, of packaging. Um, work our way back to uh, the shipping area where I'll actually turn you off back to Steve here. We're good, we're good. Got through the good packaging part, so I'll turn it back over to you and thank Thanks you so very much. So thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, I think we got a lot of good stuff going on here with the employees. And this is the final spot of our shop where we stage all the jobs and everything gets racked and ready to go so the trucks can pull in from one side and out the other side, which is important in Minnesota in the wintertime. But uh, if you want to see more about MEI, reach out to me or any of the uh, salespeople, Pat, Mike, or Dan, and set up a time to come in and we'd love to give you a tour. We do a lot of training sessions too, so stop by anytime. Our doors are always open. Do something nice for somebody today. Have a good day.